welcome to Freaky Fauna Friday, where every Friday we take a little time and explore some of the freaks of nature from around the planet we cherish so deeply. So please, jump aboard and let's explore the wilds together. Oh, what a wonderful feeling it is being back here on a Friday. I am the great and peaceful mystery. And I am Jay. And today, we're going to talk about some Freaky Fauna Friday facts. Facts? Yes. They're all facts, aren't they? They're all facts. No, it's a really fun animal. So this is an impromptu animal, because when I was doing the scheduling for all the, the shows and everything like that, uh-huh. I was off by a Freaky Fauna. But I have them all scheduled to like the end of September. Okay. So I didn't want to move them all up, because I didn't want to mess with my sheet. Okay. So I added one. Wouldn't this be really crazy? I thought of one last night to add. Okay. It would be really weird. What if, did you think to add? Well, I was thinking there was this, I saw this one little animal it was from South America. Okay. Is yours from South America? Go on. No way. Come on. Uh, it's like a little, uh, in the family of like rodents or rats or not rats, but like rabbits and stuff like that. In the capybara like family? Oh my gosh, no way. With the tall, long legs? Yeah. They look like little deers with capybaras? Okay, so who posted this? Where did we both see it? No, so that's not today's Freaky Fun oh. Friday. And what the heck, how do you know what I'm talking about? Because that was in Discord, and they're becoming invasive in Colorado. Oh. They're, they, they're cavies, is what they're called. Oh, wait, wait, this might be a different thing then. Than no, what I was they, they look like rabbits on stilts. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, never mind. No, they were popular pets for people that want capybaras. Yeah? But can't have a capybara. Okay. They're cavies. They're not cavies, they're... Something else in that family, in the family of cavies. Okay. No, today's so, But what's freaky. today? Yes. Yeah. Uh, today's is really fun. It's one of the only megafauna to be bouncing back in the 21st century. Ooh. It's these guys in humpback whales. And these guys in humpback whales have a lot in common. Any guesses? Hmm. Oh, a mammal? It is a mammal. There we go. Okay. I think... There's very few living megafauna that aren't mammals right now. Oh, a couple a couple reptiles, a couple birds, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, Besides, there's some fish. There's some fish that are megafauna. I don't know. I mean, I feel like you're torturing me on porpoise. <laughs> that's funny. No, black bears. The American black uh, bear. Oh, what's so freaky about them? They have a lot of really cool, interesting things about them. The American black bear. The American black bear, more commonly simply referred to as the black bear, because there are several other species of black bear in the world. Mm -hmm. Today, we're specifically looking at the American. Is the smallest of the three bear species found in America. There are grizzlies or brown bears. They're kind of the same species. They're subspecies inside of grizzlies. You're right. But they're all brown Brown bears. bears. And then polar bears, which is the largest carnivore on the planet. Do uh, Kodiak fall under brown bear? Brown bears. Okay. Kodiaks are a subset of brown bears. So black bears, though, can measure up to two meters in length. Males can weigh over 400 kilograms. So we could, well, we're going to break down their weight a little bit more because it's, it's argued because they have such a big range. Okay. When standing on their hind legs, they can reach a lot of times around seven foot tall. Uh, most of the time, females are smaller and shorter than males. Most of the time. Black bears can be distinguished from brown bears with their smaller size, longer ears, the lack of the shoulder hump. Black bears also have shorter, more curved claws, and generally are more timid animals. Uh, it's much, it's no, there's no way to be safe around a bear. Right. But it's much safer to see a black bear than it is a grizzly. Right. Or a polar. If you see a polar, you're just dead, because <laughs> yeah. you are food. I guess, so the lighter the bears get, the more dangerous they are. Yes. Being around. Okay. Yes. It's a running good scale. out of toner. It's a good scale to know. Typically, they are black in coloration, but it depends on the location. Their fur can be everywhere from black to light brown, which we're going to talk about. That's one of their freaky facts is their fur color. Oh. Black bears are found all throughout North America, but are most abundant in the northern states. Unlike brown bears, they prefer more densely forest habitats. They rarely venture into the open areas for long periods of time. So, yeah, brown bears and grizzlies, like brown bears or grizzlies, they just really don't they don't care. Right. They're like, just so big. They have, and that, they have that typical I don't care stance. Because they will maul you. The only thing that really kills bear, uh, grizzlies in the wild or grizzlies. Oh, they're grizzlies? Yeah. Okay. Wolves can. It's just not worth it because you're going to lose a couple wolves along the way. Yeah. Like, it's just, you know, you see them kind of play fight over carcasses, but it's never serious. Black bears are not like that. Black bears don't want to smoke. So they'll run? Yeah. Okay. 99% of the time until they have a cub. That's like almost all of our attacks from brown our black bears in North America are with cubs or, or habituated black bears. Which is a big problem in some states. Like Tennessee? 
Lake Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah, so average weight, they prefer forest. Average weight's uh, 40 to 250 kilograms, six foot long normally. They can live up to 18 years in the wild. Uh, there are reports of them living to their 30s, though. Dang, okay. Uh, Frank the Tank is one out in Colorado that they almost just euthanized, I think, last year. Why? Because he's just humongous. He's like 900 pound black bear. Yeah. He doesn't, you can't see his legs. Why do they train the So he eats him? mostly pizza from like pe- like garbage. Yeah. And he's been like this town's pet forever, which you shouldn't do. And they had a sequence of a bunch of these like four or five million dollar cabins getting broken into and destroyed by a black bear. And Frank was just sitting outside. So it was him. So like it was him. So they, they caught him and the town was like going to kill these game wardens for taking their bear and going to euthanize this bear. And then they made the, they made them do DNA testing on the bear saliva inside the cabin and proved it wasn't Frank. So he got released. So it wasn't him? No, it was a different bear. Uh-huh. He was just the idiot sitting outside like when your friend's robbing a store and you're yeah. like in the car. He's just guilty he by was, association. He was just chilling. Ever, look up a picture of him. He does not fit through a door. I, yeah. Okay? He does not he feel may like, come up to your door. I feel like we talked about him once He was before. a star on one of our, our Cribbers and Coffee one time. That's when we talked about him. No, but they're omnivores. So, our black, uh, I'm going to mess it up all night. Black bears. Black bears will eat pretty much everything. Uh, they do have about a 60% plant diet and about a 40% protein diet. And most of that protein being small things like bugs and frogs. Uh, they can run up to 31 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Most of the time it's seen running away. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while I see them running at. Now, is it, tr- is it true they can run as fast uphill as they do downhill? No, they run faster downhill. Okay. They don't run as fast uphill. But as far as that going to save you, if one of these are determined to get you? Oh, yeah. No. See, I always thought— I think that's a wife's tale. Yeah, they, I was always told, like, they can't run any faster downhill. So if you ever run away, run downhill because you can jump away or run faster than normal. No, so they, you can, they can run faster downhill. And that, that never made sense to me. So. They're fine. If they're after you, they're after you. Like, yeah. Um, there have been some pretty rough attacks from black bears. Yeah. They're not normally fatal. Was on like grizzlies, like mm-hmm. if a grizzly gets you, it's ninety nine percent fatal. Yeah, D- the guy that that bear guy that did the documentaries that lived with that bear, that was, those were grizzlies. Okay, and every other bear biologist in the world said he was stupid. <laughs> yeah, because he the, the literally the one he was petting in the video that day is yeah. the one that ate him. Oh, and that night, oh, that's awful. There are grizzlies. Yeah, you don't. I mean, black bears aren't dogs either. No, 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 no. Oh, but they're at least you sized. Right, yeah. No, so they are listed as least concerned. Uh, there are places in their area that in their ha- in their range that are still considered endangered. Ohio being one of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then you have neighboring states like Kentucky and even further states like Tennessee that have very, very healthy populations, and even states like uh, New Jersey that are calling some of their black bears. Calling. It's it's a word for killing. Oh, okay. It's selectively killing some of the population. Never heard that before. Yeah, it's called calling. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's selectively killing uh, because they are having way too many of them get hit by cars. Oh, yeah. Just like a deer here in They're Ohio. They're like raccoons. Yeah. New Jersey's not that big of a state. A very timid and shy species. They most often avoid humans at all possible. They are very opportunistic feeders, though. They uh, become nuisances when human trash get left out unprotected and leftovers make easy meals. The problem with it, habituation. If these guys get used to eating that stuff, they will keep coming back. Yep. And then they'll start getting mad that they're not being fed. Yep. So it's called habituation. It's very dangerous for black bears and alligators are the two species in North America that happen to the most. Because mm. people start feeding out. Like, I, we've talked about the show dozens of times. Alligators in Florida and alligators in Arkansas, two different animals. Right. I've been in the water with 12-foot alligators in Arkansas and not been scared. I've been in the water with six foot alligators in Florida and been terrified. Because they come right up to they, you. Because they want food and they'll take whatever, they'll take chunks off you to get it. Yeah. So the same thing that happens. Uh, they are very solitary animals. They most often will avoid each other. There are some seasonal things like fruiting plants that can cause them to become very numerous. Salmon runs also. They're not nearly as much as a fisherman as some of their bigger cousins, but they will still take fish from time to time. Um, you ever seen the video of all the black bear pouring out of the cornfield? No. There's, I'll show you after this. There's like 50, 60 black bear on like the last two rows of corn. Okay. As the combines come in, it just, they pour out and this lady starts running. There's like 50 black bears running at her. No. I, They're not chasing her. No. They're running from the combine. They got nowhere to she go. She happens to be in between them and the woods. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, like other bear species in the range, black bears do hibernate. It's a very different form of hibernation, uh, where they you know, they basically fatten themselves up and they drop their body temperature a little bit and they just rest for a long period of time. Unlike a lot of true hibernating animals, black bears can wake up. Yeah. If you poke them, they will wake up all groggy and they will try to get you. Right. You ever seen that video of that bear coming out of the cave for the first time? It just looks like he woke up from like a four hour nap. Oh yeah. <laughs> His hair's been, all messed up. His eyes for six months. Barely open, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, ready for some freaky fun facts? Oh, yeah. So, black bears are not always black. This is a big problem. They can be all kinds of colors. Cinnamon bears and completely white are the two rarest. Wow. So, cinnamon bears gives them a really, like, golden brown color. And they get mistaken for little uh, grizzlies. So, this happened to... Oh, what was it? Not a not a black bear. This happened to an albino grizzly. Okay. And he got some poor, this poor grizzly got tranked, put in a helicopter, and dragged back up to the Arctic. Oh, because they thought it was a polar? Yeah. And he's just sitting there like, <laughs> Yeah. This sucks. Uh, you know, this well, sucks. Like, how did this happen? <laughs> this really sucks. <laughs> I fell asleep when I woke up. They, they, did, they did retrank him and bring him back when they realized their mistake. Oh, okay. Because they were already, they were looking for a polar bear in the area. And they found that. Yeah. So they did find a white grizzly. But yeah. So they can be all kinds of colors, though. Uh, a lot of times you see the black, and even like black silver is a big one. Like when you go down to Gatlinburg and stuff like that. And okay. You see a bunch of them. Uh, but brown, cinnamon, blonde, and white are the really rare ones. Well, yeah. black bears are very shy and timid. When most people think of bears, you don't think of a, a really thing that will take off the second it sees you, even if it outweighs you by 400 pounds. Right, yeah. 99% of the time, that's what black bears will do. Long as they don't feel trapped, and long as you're not in between them and their babies, that's the biggest danger. When places like I love Cades Cove, we just talked about it today. That's where you can go drive through and see the black bears and stuff like that. Every bad interaction with the black bear in Smoky Mountain National Park is human fault. Yeah, every one of them. Yeah, I've seen people be stupid. I've told people, "Hey, you you're too sh- close. You shouldn't be there." Yeah, that's a, that is a bear. Yeah, you have like. I don't know where these people are like, oh, no, he's like, remember the old lady's like, oh, he's fine. Right. Yes, he's fine. He lives here. Yeah. He's a 400-pound bear. You're not. If You're he an 80 old lady. He doesn't want you there. Yeah. If he, yeah. A lot of times, as long as they don't feel trapped, as long as they have a way to get away, and you're not in between them and their cups. So that's what I was kind of saying is, the one time that happened to me and Luke on the trail out there is that we seen a cub, and we freaked out, and then we looked around, mom's behind us on the trail. Oh, So yeah. they, had wrapped, they had wrapped around it. So we stood off into the side of the trail. And she just went right past us. Yeah. Like, we didn't look at her. We looked away. You know, just the game one was there talking to us about how to do it. She never felt threatened, so she never reacted. Right, right. But yeah. Uh, next one. They can eat over 10,000 berries in a day. That's a lot. These are Hoover vacuums. Yeah. So, like I said, remember, 60% of their diet is plant matter right. on average. Some of these black bears have much more plant diet than they will ever have a protein diet. And most of that protein, like I said, is grubs and frogs. Right, small game. Uh, when food is abundant, black bears can eat as much as they possibly can. Sometimes well over eight, or eight kilograms of fruit and berries in a day. While berries and fruit are abundant, black bears will move to these areas and feed on them almost exclusively. Some hunters that kill black bears, they call them blueberry bears, will literally cut open the meat and it'll be stained purple. Dang. When they are excellent sense of smell, and they can help locate really ripe berries, nuts, fruits, as well as beehives and larva infestation. Mm. So everybody's like, you look and see bears rooting, which they will eat grass a little bit. Yeah. They most likely, though, are going for grubs and worms. Gotcha. There'll be big patches of them in the soil. And looking for, yeah. digging them up like so a that's pig. What and yeah, a... that's what they're doing. They're very similar to pigs. Mm. And we'll get to that. That's one of the last freaky fun effects. Ooh. Uh, black bears are skilled climbers. Black bears are excellent climbers and can easily reach nuts and fruits and trees before they fall to the ground. They have sharp, curved claws and not only helps them climb, but also helps them rip trees apart and longs to get those insects they crave. As well as being expert climbers, black bears are really good swimmers and will access flash flowing rivers and reach other food sources. I've seen them jump into rivers and be like, there's no way that bear's making it across there. With confidence, and they'll, they'll make it across. I'm not yeah. saying it's easy for them, but they'll make it across. Uh, they are incredibly strong. Uh, a lot of people, I think that's one of the things, is they look like a dog mm-hmm. to a lot of people. Oh, so you yeah. think they're strong as a dog? They are not. They are well stronger. Yeah. So the average black bears are up to five times stronger than the average adult male. Dang. So right on par with some chimps. Yeah. And you see those guys, like Russians, like wrestling the bears, like training with them. Yeah, but keep in mind, the claws have mitts on, 
and the muzzles are strapped shut. Right, but still, I mean... And the bear is still picking them up and throwing them around. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah, black bears are highly dexterous. They're capable of opening screw-top jars and manipulating door latches. Black bears can open doors. That's pretty impressive. And they'll sit there and they'll focus and they'll work on little things and they'll... Until they get it? Until they get it. Their diet is primarily... Or, sorry. Mostly vegetarian. Like I said, they do eat meat. Uh, depending on who you hear it from, some people say 60, some people say 70% vegetation. Mm-hmm. It varies, and it varies all across the country. Right, right. It varies seasonally as well. It probably varies from bear to bear. Yeah. Uh, the sense of smell is seven times more sensitive than any of the domestic dogs we have. Wow. Really good sniffers. Yeah. Black bears are really, really good at smelling things. I did not know that. Like I said, black bears are really fast runners. On average, they can get up to about 25 miles an hour, but they have been clocked in at over 30. So if they get one mad, they will get you. Yeah. You ain't outrunning that. They are mostly quiet animals. So although black bears do tongue click and grunt to communicate with each other, black bears do not really growl or roar, unlike other bears. Hmm. Uh, mostly because they get eaten by other bears. Oh. <laughs> so they don't really want to be found. Found, right. right. <laughs> um, but no, they're, they're pretty much supersized raccoons. Uh, but yeah, they do. So the only defense noise they make is called cutting. It's when they slap their, their incisors together. Okay. It's actually cutting their teeth. So it's teeth scraping on teeth. Right. And it's not a good noise to hear. It's, it's a lot worse than that. It yeah. sounds like two axes hitting each other. And it's, I'm going to break my teeth. Most of the time when you hear that, it's, she's already very, very mad at you. <laughs> it's kind of like a rattlesnake. You better be gone. The den is a spot are almost always well hidden. Black bear dens are incredibly hard to find even sometimes having what appears to be false openings. Ooh. And that's because they're not on top of the food chain. Uh, like, grizzlies love eating black bears. Oh, okay, gotcha. So if a black bear cubs are hiding in a hole, the mom will sometimes, like, it's, we don't know if it's a true false opening, but it looks like there almost is. Mm-hmm. So the, the grizzly will go in there and see, like, oh, there's nobody home and leave. Right, yeah. But yeah, black bear cubs are extremely playful. A lot of times, they will play with people. You should not play with them. Doesn't sound like it. No, because they know mom's right behind them. So they're confident. Right, they don't care. Yeah. But yeah, they are very intelligent. Hmm. Uh, with the with the false hole thing, there's birds that do that, right? Oh, yeah, tons. I thought so. There's that big, that the the knitting bird from Africa, I can't think of the name, that makes the, the big nest with the false snake hole. The snake it's hole. It's really designed for snakes. Yeah, because I'll slither up and go in that. Yeah. It's and empty. And push it right out. Yeah. So he'll think he cleared the whole nest. Black bears are very intelligent. Uh... They can memorize their complete territory. They can make scratch that stick out, and twigs easily break and lock, and food storage containers. So they can open food storage containers without just breaking them. Grizzlies, a lot of times, just use blunt force yes. to like break that stuff. Mash it open. Black bears will open them. Hmm. And they memorize their territory. They memorize markings and all kinds of stuff in it. Mm-hmm. So they can tell who's been around and all kinds of stuff. There are black bear hybrids. American black bears can reproduce with other species and produce hybrid offsprings. Black bears and grizzly bears are reported in the wild semi-often. Hmm. What do they call the hybrids? Is there a name for them? Like I don't remember because pizzlies are polar pol- bears and grizzlies. Right, yeah. I don't remember these guys. But oh, my last, my second last one, they are key contributors to the ecosystem. These are what we call keystone species. Black bears are important contributors to the ecosystem they inhabit. Due to their large size, they create micro ecosystems that develop in their deep footprints and break apart small trees and plants. They also keep controlling insect populations as well as important distributors, encouraging new plant growth whenever seeds in their stool are germinated. Black bears can also have a very large home range. That means they can increase plant diversity by traveling long distances and distributing the seeds in otherwise areas that these seeds would never reach. Nice. So the decline in black bear populations in like the 18th century, the 1800s, okay. is probably why all of our fruit trees disappeared in North America. Hmm. All the berry patches shrunk, all this... Because these were the guys that were eating them, getting their guts full of the seeds. Right. And then they'd walk 100 miles. Right. Moving everything around And then now everywhere. there'd be a berry patch on top of this mountain. Right. And now, yeah. you know, so they were cultivating food crops. Yeah, we need more of them. They, you can see them when they're bouncing back in areas and stuff like that. They kind of, they don't farm in the true sense of it, but their behaviors, the way they feed, do that automatically. Right. Spreads, spreads yeah. it out. Yeah. Grizzlies do it as well. Not as nearly as much as black bears. Black bears are definitely the veggie guy. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm the, not saying the that bears. Yeah, they can kill. They'll eat pigs. That you know, they'll kill deer. 
They can do that. Right, right. It's just more rare for them. Right. It takes a, a really determined one. And you see a lot of times, like, you see a video of those, the black bear, the huge one trying to eat the pot belly pig. I don't think so. So he, gra- he jumps in the pen and he grabs it on its back and he's trying to kill it and it's just not doing a good job. And then another pot belly pig comes out and bites it and then it freaks out and it's hiding in the corner as these two <laughs> pot belly pigs are trying to kill it. Black bear's like twice the size of these pot belly yeah, pigs. Yeah, yeah. And these two pot belly pigs are just ramming it with their, their tusks. They're like, wah, wah, wah. And then the lady comes out and opens the gate so the black bear can run away. No, I did not see that. There's another one where they get stuck in like a like a like a fence, like yeah. a three foot fence that it got in. Yeah. And the guy had to go open the gate. To and the black it... bear is like walking out, looking at him, like you can tell it's all nervous. Yeah. And then it tries to bite him right at the end. Yeah. And he just slaps it in the face and it goes rrr, rrr, and runs away. <laughs> Have you seen the one? These too? aren't big monsters. Right. Have you seen the one where the uh I'm sure there's videos like this everywhere, like in the it's like a guy's back porch, but it's like, you know, closed in. And this little dog comes running in, like a little tiny lap dog comes running in the house, but immediately behind it was a black bear chasing it into the house. And this black bear comes charging in the house, and the guy freaks out and he's just like, ah! and like shoulder charges this bear. Like, full on runs into it, like tackles it, but he hits it, hits it head on it, stops the bear. The bear's like kind of trying to go after the dog, but then the guy's like right ha- starts shoving it with like a chair and it like backs out and it I've ru- seen this goes out and runs away. And he's just like, oh, like he's freaking out. And the wife's like, what's going on? <laughs> like a freaking bear. I'm fighting a bear, woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. What an adrenaline rush. So here's my little negative for the episode Ooh. black bears in historically healthy areas. Are really struggling due to the invasive pigs. Mm, yes, they feed on the same things, same niches. They very occupy the same niche. Mm-hmm. So the black bears do not compete well with pigs because pigs' reproductive numbers they breed. But I do want to say the two things I did mention they have common with whales. Oh yeah, is they're one of the few mammals that can get pregnant while still nursing. Wow, there are there are mammals that do this, right? But humpback whales are one of the only whales that do this. And black bear is one of the only mammals, large mammals, that do this on land. Wow. And this is because it's very resource hard. Right, To right. be feeding an offspring, taking care of an offspring, growing. and growing one. Right. So black bears are normally don't have problems finding food. Right. And humpback whales work together. Hmm. So they, they so normally have a, they don't have problems finding food either. It's biologically capable. And of, of doing this. Of, yes. The calorie demand, it, meet, it meets it. Right. And their safety in numbers for whales and the black bears. There's not a lot eating a black bear modern day. Right. Like, if you look, pretty much as long as there's not grizzlies there, they're probably okay. It's it's either grizzlies or us. Yeah. And I we, mean, yeah, there's not a huge, there, there's hunters for them, don't get me wrong. But not But it's much. not a huge no. industry. Uh, and it shouldn't be. I'm all for hunting whatever, you know. Yeah. Responsibly. That's what I mean. It shouldn't be huge because yeah. we need our black bears. It depends on where you're at, definitely. Like, if for you're sure. in New York, they're, I think they're trying to, or New Jersey, I think they're trying to give you three black bear tags. Like, Man. please go shoot three of them. Just, like, relocate them here. Well, big, big catapult. I, it's, like, when you relocate animals, you to be kind of close for genetics. Uh, okay. In my opinion. I don't know. I'm Maybe. Not, I'm not a mammal guy. Well, trebuchets can only go throw so far. Just toss them in the lake. Then they'll live. Then let them swim out. And wherever they go. end up, they'll be fine. All right. Well, I have been a great and peaceful mystery. And I've been Jay. We'll catch you next week, guys. Be like a black bear. Be adaptable. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to Freaky Fat on a Friday. If you want to help the podcast grow, remember to share and give it a five-star review.